What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 21-22 Elite Basketball just sold out. Six box break. Pikachu's number two. Again, this is the second half of the case. Here we go. And also, I just want to make an announcement just in case you are watching. So, uh, we had a team random. So, if you notice that if you have a character sign, that means you were in the team random. That's who you won the teams with. Um, oh, actually, sorry. This is number one. Hold on. Copied the wrong one. This is the old one. This is the new one. Here we go. So Dave, there you go, right there at the top, all the way down to Jerry at the bottom. So uh, I, I guess Nick didn't realize it, probably an honest mistake, uh, but as he took all the Pelicans for a team random, it actually sold. So Johnny actually does get to keep the Pelicans. Patrick Davis should have won the Pelicans in that slot. I think they were like a $40 team. So instead, uh, Patrick, if you're listening, uh, we just uh, gave you some break credit. And instead of you know giving you $40 for the team value, we just gave you back the 60 60 plus uh, break credit spot for the spot, and I rounded it up to like 75. So you got like 75 bucks back. So I think it's a little bit better there. You can kind of use the 75 dollars on whatever you like. So uh, probably better than potentially getting the Pelicans for 40 bucks. But sorry about that. A little honest mistake there. And as you can see, these are the last six boxes of the case. So here we go. Let's rip. Uh, let's rip three boxes. So we'll rip the first three boxes, then we'll go through the hits. Kings don't have a power play, do they?
No, man, I have not. This is my third break of this. The biggest autograph I've pulled is probably that Jalen Green in the first break. I have not pulled any pass in the torch duels yet. How, how, I don't think those are common, right? I feel like those are really probably tough to hit. Go Kings, go baby! Overtime. They're notoriously not good in overtime though, Ryan, so. Just a little FYI. I would love for them to win. I, I hate Vegas, but. You know, I just, it's kind of tough sometimes. Although this year though, so far, they've only played Vegas like two or three times, I think. Or maybe, actually, maybe just once or twice, actually. They, they've been matching up pretty well against them though. Kings have been playing extremely well this year. Bones! The Denver Nuggets. Dave with that one. Yes. We have there. And our friendly Simons. Oh, you're good then, man. Oh, you already won then. I don't think you need to worry. I ain't gonna lose by two. Whoa! Color match, Bobby Portis, five out of nine. Hold on. There we go. Cameron Thomas. Ten bells. Yeah, Pacific is so tough, Ryan. It's so messed up that we have the most teams. Jalen Johnson. Brandon Clark. KD. And Karam Butler. Wizards. What the hell's wrong with these penny sleeves? Trandall. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love quick, man, but that dude just plays wild sometimes, man. Get your stick, bro. Good job. Go, go, go. Sorry, guys. Kings are on right now. Overtime hockey is definitely the most fucking heart, heart, uh, heart pumping. John Morant. Yeah, is that Kempi? Hell yeah. That's right, Kempi. That's why you're an all-star this year.
That's right. I got a message. I got a message with somebody really quick. Good job, Kempe. That was a great play, too. Kopi just still produces. And what a great sequence. Little triangle right there. TJ McConnell. There we go. Max imp uh, ma uh, impact impressions. They could. I, I don't expect them to do this year, though. I I'm just being realistic. But if, if they can squeeze in and make the playoffs this year, definitely good momentum for them next year. But, I mean, I was, I was reading the stats. I mean, yeah, the you know, last win for the Kings was 2014. But, you know, in the last eight years, you know, you've had Dodgers, Lakers, Kings, you know, Sparks. Hell, I think the only team you haven't had here win was, like, the Clippers. <laughs> So, I mean, still, but yeah, I, I, I did expect them from last year to this year to make the playoffs this year. So that's my, that's like my goal for them is to at least make the playoffs. If they can make some, do some damage. That'd be great. But it's just so tough in the Pacific division and just the Western conference alone. Galaxy 2, yeah. Everybody's won except the Clippers, <laughs> which is horrible, but. Ooh, Chris Duarte. Pro duck right there, baby. Indiana Pacers. Who has the Pacers? Danny does. Very nice. Jumo Kiki, a little color match. Oh, uh, Giddy's in this product, Ryan. He came out in hoops as well. Giddy's hoops autographs for like four or five hundred dollars now. It's wild. I should have bought it when it was two fifty, three hundred, but just really wasn't feeling the hoops. But I guess you know. Trey Murphy, Pelicans. Hoops was the first product. Hoops is always going to be the first product for everybody. There is a Russell Westbrook 6 out of 10 for the Lakers. Yep. One of my buddies picked up this Giddy. He only picked it up for $800. And I told him, what a bastard. Because if I would have found this deal on Instagram. Or sorry, not on Instagram. If I would have found this deal on, on Facebook, I would have easily bought this for $800. I feel like this was a steal. My buddy Mike here that's local, he got this giddy. Check it out. He got a one out of three Josh Giddy from Immaculate Collegiate for 800 bucks, dude. I, just, I feel like that's a deal. I think that could easily be like over two, 3,000. Trey Young to 99. There you go. Dave Robb. Very nice. And we got Kelly Olnick.
kind of chipping up a little bit right there, but Brandon Boston Jr. Santoransky. Puku. To 99. Thunder have a loaded team. They're just super, super young. I think the Thunder have too many good players. Like, eventually, they can't sign everybody. <laughs> They're creating a little bit of a problem. They're going to have to trade some of these players in the future. But Trey Mann and Giddy this year have really played really well for the Thunder. They have, Matt. They have. I mean, I don't know if any of them will end up being like on the level of Kevin Durant, but... I mean... We'll see, I guess. I mean, the other day when Giddy hit his third straight triple double, SJ and Dort weren't even playing, and they upset the Knicks. Both, I think, uh, Giddy and Trey Mann both had like thirty plus points or twenty seven plus. And then they also still have like thirty first rounders. So I mean, <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna see like a crazy trade. Like, are the Thunder gonna like just trade like seven first rounders for like one specific stud? Because they just have so much draft capital. Alright, next three. OKC's had a lot of great players, man. I mean, I'm a Thunder fan, so I wouldn't remember them. Thunder, dra Thunder have drafted really well. It's just they haven't really all stuck around. Besides, you know, obviously, like Westbrook and Durant at the time. You know, they had Serge Ibaka, James Harden. I mean, you name it, dude. They had a great players. You know, they drafted Reggie Jackson. He's actually kind of, re re like, resurgence with the Clippers with his with his, uh, his career with the Clippers. But Reggie Jackson. Shit, they even had Jeremy Lamb. They drafted him in the first round. Serge. <laughs> well, I think we're starting to get to like, we're starting to get to like old school, like actual Sonics players. I really like Jeff Green. I remember when they drafted Jeff Green uh, with Kevin Durant, like, you know, in like the 06, 07. Jeff Green was a, I love Jeff Green. I remember they traded him too. SGA and uh, Nikhil Alexander Walker are cousins, actually? Well, I didn't know that. Drew Gooden. Wow. Okay. Oh, is is uh is uh Nikhil Alexander Walker from Canada as well? 
You know, Team Canada, if they really wanted to represent their national team, if they haven't, like, claimed the United States. Ooh, nice Luca. Two out of 23 die kit. The, the, uh, Tor uh, Toronto, the, um, the Canadian national team basketball is actually, they're pretty loaded. I mean, obviously, uh, obviously, I mean, U.S. obviously probably still has the most talent, but in mean, Canada, if they really wanted to play for them, they can. Some great players. Jaden uh, Springer. Quinn Grimes. Bane. Ball. Redemption. Yeah, if you really wanted to go deep, yeah, SGA Wiggins. Uh, you'll have uh, a good shooter like Dylan Brooks on the Grizzlies there. Um, RJ Barrett. Is Canadian as well. Uh, Who's another big dude? I just blanked my mind. But they'd have a solid, like, starting five, six players. Oh, that's right. I think Jamal Murray is. Well, that's, that's a lot of point guards, but Jamal Murray is also really good. But I'm trying to think of a big guy. I mean, Chris Boucher plays for the Raptors already. I mean, he's not, like, the biggest. Canadian star, but he's also... Oh, that's right, Chris Duarte. That's right. Chris Duarte is a good one, too. Um, but yeah, all good guards. But, like, I was just trying to think of a bigger, like, center guy, but I guess... Uh, is Justin Thompson Canadian? I don't know if we want that guy. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that they do actually have... They do actually have solid players, but I don't... I don't think they ever will play for Team Canada. Impact Impressions, card number 44. Wow! Woo! I want to make sure this is Lakers, but Anthony Davis. Wow. I mean, I was just telling Joe this, and I know Joe hates to hear this, but Anthony Davis definitely made a pack of the devil uh, in 2020 when he got traded to the Lakers because he didn't get injured. And ever since then, he has not been, he has not stayed healthy, just like he was with the Pelicans. I was like, and I think he benefited from like the bubble. Because they were off for a handful of months, so if you ever had any lingering, in, uh, uh, any lingering injuries, he was able to recover. But still a solid player, went healthy though. Yep, Los Angeles Lakers. Card number 44, which uh, they shouldn't be numbered unless it's paralleled gold out of 10 or black one of one. So there you go. Lakers. Woo! Ryan's just on fire today. Great break and five star gets randomized. The Lakers top two out of the three. Wins $750 and some betting on hockey. Man, it's like the best day ever for him right now. There you go. Jamal Murray, speaking of the guy. That's LeBron. That's also, that's actually Cavaliers edition, though, I think. Yeah, it's Cavaliers edition. De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> when is he going to come?
come back already, man. I feel like he's been out for like three years already. I actually have a really nice prism. Um, I don't think they call it checkerboard, but I have a nice checkerboard 9.5 that I picked up when he got injured when it was on the down low. So I've been hoping to hopefully unleash that soon if they, you know, make a little payoff run potentially and he's back. But I think they're really taking it slow with him, right? Or is he like having problems like Zion or something? Because I feel I feel for Zion. I, I think at this point his ankle is is not because of his like. You anyway. got a black one of these? No, oh, oh, I have one over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Zion, I think might have to have surgery again. I don't, and I don't think it has to do anything with like like weight or anything like that. I just think his his ankle has just not healed properly, which just happens. It's just, it's it's rare, but I mean it happens. Or it's actually probably more common than we think, but. All right, next box. <laughs> yeah, that's an autograph. It's just he didn't have either. He didn't. He couldn't sign stickers, or just they just couldn't get him at all. Yeah, if you ever get a redemption, it's definitely an autograph. They would never give you a redemption. The only time I've ever seen that they don't give you a redemption for a specific card is uh, what is absolute when they give you the glass cards. That's the only time I've ever seen like a redemption for a non-autograph. Besides like a memorabilia redemption or something. <laughs> I know, right? Lakers are probably like, no, he can't sign thousands of cards. He needs to rehab. But, sir, he's just going to be sitting down for a few weeks. Lubov hasn't signed and stuff either? Come on, Lubov. I mean, I, ha I have one Smile Sanders that I'm probably never going to get, but I bought I bought it. I forgot who I bought it off of here, though. But back in 2019, I bought a Prism case hit RPA of Miles Sanders to 25. Redeemed it, and I, I haven't. I think I've finally requested for like a replacement because it's been over two years already. I think I like redeemed it like middle of like 2019, and I haven't seen it since. It's been like over two years. Bones. Out of 35, Penthouse. A little color match, maybe? Yeah. Denver going to Dave. Bogdan. CP3. Ooh, Cade Cunningham. There we go. Stephen Curry. Desmond Mason. Ooh, look at that. Back-to-back -back autographs. And Jaden Springer. Rookie yearbook. I don't know if that's a I don't know if that wasn't supposed to be like that. Maybe we get an extra autograph. But there we go.
DeAndre Ayton to 99. Jaden Springer for Philly. Um, yeah, if it's sold out, I'll run it back. I mean, it's whatever sold out, really. That's probably going to be our last break of the night, though. But yeah, I'll run it back if it's sold out. box guys All right, last box, guys. Good luck. Whoa. So I think these are case hits. And what a break for Ryan Harold. Dimensions. Little 3D cards. Mark Eaton. Oh, we should potentially get a rookie autograph at least for the second card. James Wiseman. Stephen Curry. And we got James Bulk Knight. Halliburton. LeBron Spellbound. 
And uh, Moises Moody for the Warriors. Not too bad. Golden State Warriors. Another LeBron insert. There we go. You know, Lakers did have some good hits. I mean, that's why they're pretty pricey. Looks like they tend to pop out a lot. I'm sure these LeBrons will definitely add up as well. Appreciate it, guys. This was the second half of the case. It looks like Pikachu number three is done, so that'll probably be our last break of the night. We'll be back again tomorrow at 2 o'clock Pacific. But uh, i got to do a quick little pack filler really quick for the basketball mixer. And we'll definitely, uh, like I said, get that number three done if it is sold out. And then we'll call it a night, guys. So appreciate it, everybody. Jaspies, casebreaks.com.